What's up, Aquarius? This is Soul. And Aquarius, we're going to look at your week ahead starting July 24th, ending on the 30th of July, 2023. Aquarius, I hope all is well. Uh, this week, I'm using one of Cat Black's tarot decks. I just don't remember the name of it. Not reading any reversals here for you. And um, just going to shuffle, you know, concentrate on Aquarius' energy. He's not even going to do a cup. We're just going to Get right into the energies after I do a good shuffle for you, and we're going to begin, all right? So, sit back, relax. I hope you enjoy the reading. Energies for my fellow water bearers. What's coming up for Aquarius? What's coming up for Aquarius this week? What do we have to look forward to or not look forward to? Okay. And, oops. Damn. Okay. Didn't expect that to happen. All right, here we go, Aquarius. First card in an energy opens up with the Eight of Cups. Okay, this is a card that I always read differently here. So, you know, but, you know, I have to say that if this card and you guys are familiar with, um, you know, the Eight of Cups energy and what it represents, then, you know, if you're feeling that, then that's what it is. You know, it does represent, according to the book, I don't like, you know, reading the LWB but, you know, emotional sadness or disappointment. Now, you figure um, the cups represent those relationships. So this could be something going on in the family structure. Uh, it could be a romantic uh, situation, you know. And there could be a situation where you walk away from, you know, what you don't want to deal with on an emotional level any further. That's going to be your call. Uh, as I read it is that you don't want to deal with the drama, whatever the drama, you know, Maybe some of the drama, again, relates to family, could be romantic partners, could be friends, and you don't want to deal with it this week, okay? So you're turning your back against that energy and you're looking forward, um, you know, just to be positive, you know, you don't want to deal. And, you know, Aquarians don't deal with a lot of drama, okay, because we don't create it. Uh, it's usually the other energies coming in from other people that we have to deal with. All right. So following the eight of cups now, you have the, uh, oh shit. Okay. So the three of swords, I wasn't expecting that one. All right. So it, I think the focus for some of us will be on relationships. Did we not draw the three of swords the last time? I have to look at that again, but I thought the three of swords showed up here for our reading last week. So something's going on here, Aquarius, with us, you know, um, some of you, not all of you, because this energy is not going to affect or impact all of you. It's here for a reason. And whoever comes along to sees this video, they'll know exactly what the Three of Swords and the Eight of Cups is here for. So you're cutting your losses here with some sort of emotional stuff. Now, the typical words or meanings of this Three of Swords is, you know, separation, grief, and heartache, divorces, um, breakups, you know, to, uh, depending not depending, pending divorces, right? Uh, I always talk about pet loss. The pet gets away, but it doesn't physically die, but the family's left grieving. Still could be couples who are together, but there's some sort of distance that separate them that creates the grief and heartache. Um, also, it could be uh, three painful choices or decisions for you to make. Could be a family conflict, conflict with friends, um, something going on, third party, in play when it comes to romance. Wow. Okay, so let's see. Let's hope this uh, energy gets better for us. Page of Cups, isn't that something? <laughs> the Page of Cups comes right in after the Three of Swords. So maybe somebody does break up and there's a new relationship. Otherwise, there still would be pregnancy news, childbirth, new relationships being formed, um, platonic and romantic. And Page of Cups, usually I say... Um, there could be someone that I'm reading for who may have recently started a um, relationship. It's not even 30 days old and there's some sort of difficulties going on already. And, you know, with the Eight of Cups, because it mirrors the Eight of Cups, it could be that. I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. And, you know, I don't like to spend too much time expanding, but it could be just, you know, emotional immaturity on uh, someone's part. It may not be yours. It may be the person that you may be dealing with. Um, somebody is not mature here, okay? Creating this Three of Swords energy, possibly. 
Next up is the Knight of Pentacles. So this is a job offer, contract offer. This is a card of financial, one of the cards of financial independence, um, you know, willing to assist and help out. It doesn't always have to relate to finances. Money is looking good for some of you. Now, it does mirror the Three of Swords, so it could be that there's a form of separation going on when it comes to work-related matters. Or the Eight of Cups in itself could represent co-workers that some Aquarians may not be uh, getting along with. It doesn't mean, um, you know, your whole department, is. Just, it could be just one or two employees um, that you may not be getting along with. At least that's what I'm feeling here. Following the Knight of Pentacles, now we have the uh, Hangman. So any decision-making, um, especially with the Three of Swords, because the Three of Swords is about decisions too. So, but they're painful decisions. Just note that whatever you're going to do, you don't have to rush through anything hurriedly so that, you know, uh, take your time and whatever matters that requires any decisions or actions for you this week. Up next now, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Major Arcana, Wheel of Fortune. That's a stroke of luck. Fate and Destiny card here. Um, so, you know, things that may have been unfortunate for you, Aquarius may turn around in favor of you this week. This is the card that represents uh, big money. So, you know, if you're the Aquarian who is... Um, you know, a risk taker likes to gamble, casino runs, lottery plays or whatever. And I know somebody hit that damn um, Powerball in California. <laughs> oh, gosh. One day, one day, right? So anyway, just play responsibly <laughs> and you should be all right. All right. So that's the Will of Fortune following that. We, oh, shit. Now we got the line. Mm. Aquarius. <clears throat> what is going on here? Now the Nine of Swords is present in your spread and it sits underneath the Three of Swords. Yeah, something's going on with a relationship. I'm telling you. Because last week, I, I think three to, yeah, the Three of Swords is showing up for us and I was trying to put together a story. But, you know, this week here may be the continuance of something that you may have been dealing with last week. Something is not quite right. Nine of Swords is overthinking the card of feeling like you're being betrayed here. Okay, you could be um, seeking some sort of relief through uh, drugs. It could be weed smoking. It could be prescription medication for anxiety. Maybe you're not sleeping well here. And maybe you're keeping late hours, staying up all night, worried about a situation, extremely worried about a relationship. Now, because the Page of Cups is here, that could represent somebody new who could be in play with the Three of Swords, maybe there's some sort of um, situation Aquarius is dealing with where Aquarius has been, you know, possibly dating someone, liking someone. But this person that they um, that they've come to like or, you know, have an interest in, they haven't released or let go of what they were dealing with. So that's the third party that's coming in play. And there here you are up all night, feeling anxious, feeling very worried because you don't know what kind of attachment this person that you may be involved with or have an interest in still has to this other person. So, you know, um, inner conflict, external conflict here, Aquarius, try to resolve that energy as quickly as you possibly can. You don't want to carry this around because it leads to more further psychological and mental stress. If it is not what I just said here, it could be that I'm reading for Aquarians who are connected to people who are incarcerated. And then this would be their nine of swords energy. All right. But I just put a little story together here and I feel that there's some sort of, um, you know, uh, situation, situational ship, I should say. That there's somebody else there's in play here. You know about it, but you don't know exactly the length of the attachment that the other person has, especially if they've been together before you came onto the scene. Never get involved in any relationships on a rebound. Um, if they tell you that they are, you know, were in a relationship and you know that's not working out or something like that, let that shit ride out, okay? But don't get yourself involved because maybe you know you like them because then it leads to other shit that you don't want to deal with so maybe this is what i'm seeing all right 
After that, look at that shit. The Eight of Swords. Wow, Aquarius. And you know, these swords represent us. Now, this could be a slight reduction of the Nine of Swords that you are working on this Nine of Swords energy, and now you move down to the Eight of Swords. This here represents a breaking communication uh, with family members, romantic partners, friends. For me, that's how I interpret the Eight of Swords. It's still a card that represents anxiety, worry. You're not blindfolded. You're not roped up here. You're not trapped. You know, you can see your way through a situation. But I always speak about the Eight of Swords is that you have to make sure that whatever it is that you're dealing with, it is actually real. And then that way you can work on the energies. But if it's something that you are overthinking about, you're projecting and you've got this whole creation in your mind about uh, an end result, you know, to a scenario. And then, you know, nine times out of ten, I said it never comes out the way that we, you know, play it out like a movie in our head. So be very, very careful here. But I will stick to the story that I have said that somebody is dealing with somebody who um, there's an interest or Aquarius likes somebody. I'm calling it as I see it. Aquarius likes somebody, but there's somebody else that's in play. But this person here that Aquarius like, there's some attachment here to someone that they already been in a relationship with or dealt with. And this is why the Nine of Swords is here underneath that Three of Swords to say that you're possibly the one overthinking about that situation. Eight of Swords further validates what I just said, you know, for the Nine of Swords energy, worry, concerns, sleepless nights, up late at night, probably going through social media checks, checking on their energies. Okay, could be, could be not. Up next now we have the, um, okay, now, I, you know, I should have removed this. This is, <laughs> I was, this is, um, okay, this is Touchstone Tarot. Thank you. This is one of the cards that I should have removed from the deck. It's uh, actually Cat Black's um, signature here, okay? I was 480 out of 500 people. This was a um, limited edition deck, so... 480. Thank you, Cat Black. So we're going to draw another card here for you. It is the Touch Tone Tarot. Then we have the Two of Cups. Wow. Okay, so the Two of Cups shows up here. And you know, that's about unions. That's about partnerships. Now, if, you know, Aquarius is dealing with the Nine of Swords, Three of Swords, or the Eight of Swords energy, then you know, your relationship is fine. Um, you're seeing eye to eye with one another. You're on the same page with one another. But I do want to throw this in here because I always like to mirror shit, right? So the Two of Cups does mirror the Nine of Swords. Again, I go back to that overthinking thing that you're overthinking about this relationship that you have an interest in, okay? Now, it's not something that uh, maybe, you know, you started off. It could be somebody that you started off with, you know, just knowing as a friend. And then, you know, one thing led to another. And But there's something going on. I'm saying there's a situational shift. For others, then... There still could be uh, a pairing of coming together with romantic partners. Uh, and you know what? I'm just going to reserve the Two of Cups for romantic partners, uh, period. I've been saying platonic friendships. No, this is the Two of Cups is about romance, unions, okay? Seeing eye to eye, being on the same page, like-mindedness. You can see here who's a little flower here. So, you know, friends don't normally do that. They do, but they don't normally do. Uh, so we're going to just reserve the Two of Cups uh, moving forward, uh, Aquarius, uh, as a card of love, unionships, okay, partnerships. Following the Two of Cups in your last card is the Emperor. So no matter what's going on here with the Nine of Swords, Three of Swords, and the Eight of Swords, you guys are going to be in control, okay? Um, it cross mirrors over here to the Eight of Cups that might have some sort of significance for someone being in control of your own emotions in spite of anything else that may lead up to um, having to deal with the Three of Swords or the Nine of Swords. You do have the Will of Fortune also in your favor as a stroke of luck, something turning around uh, and being in your favor. Shadow Energy is the Queen of Pentacles. Well, this is, could be money. You know, definitely with the Knight of uh, Pentacles here, money is looking good. So you're not really worried about your, um, maybe it could be connected to the Nine of Swords or Eight of Swords if some of you are worried about your finances. But there seems to be some sort of improvement coming through with the Queen of uh, Pentacles. This is your boss in the workplace. This is your creditors. This is someone who may be in business for themselves. Then, you know, money and resources becoming even more available for you.
or at least your business is earning growth potential. Um, this could be somebody with the two of cups here um, and the page of cup page of cups as well that you meet somebody new romantically and they're doing something you know uh, lucrative in terms of the line of work or career that they have chosen they could be running a business but they accumulated some sort of wealth or they had pocket change all right but they're willing to share that energy with you because they don't ever come across as being stingy or selfish um they're very nurturing and they're very caring so somebody that you can rely on depend on um they will always be there for you or the energy could just evolve around the expression of this Queen of uh, Pentacles. And this is how other people see you, that you're dependable, Aquarius, reliable, and, um, you know, always there to help out, whatever. And it doesn't always have to result in financial assistance. Next card up is the Five of Cups. So we uh, join the Five of Cups with the Eight of Cups. So this is emotional sadness or disappointment. Now, you can connect that energy to any of the energies that are present here for you. Uh, I just think that there's something going on with us this week when it comes to relationships. Um, basically, we haven't got it quite right. Okay. And we're still trying to get it right. So you could be handed a disappointment or, you know, uh, you could be handing someone a disappointment. If it's not, it's just you dealing with some sort of emotional stuff that's only going to be temporary. This could, still could be... Um, you know, not your energy, but, you know, your family's energy it could be your romantic partner's energies could be a friend's energy, but it's not going to be around too long. So don't worry about it. Then we have the four of cups. So interestingly enough, we have the four of cups. See, a lot of emotions are riding here in this reading. Um, Aquarius. OK, we got the eight of cups. We got the four of cups, five of cups, two of cups, page of cups. So when I talk about these um, relationships, the cups do represent love and relationship. Something is going on. The nine of swords and the three of swords, as well as the eight of swords, is telling me that some of us are dealing with a situational ship. And it's not to our liking, unfortunately. But the four of cups, however, does mean socializing, interacting with others, family members, friends. Uh, could be, you know, dining out, going to restaurants. And, you know, it is an equal number of cups. So what you give is what you're going to give back. That's if you're not dealing with this other stuff that I had laid out for you. But this is what I have for you, Aquarius, this week. I little, you know, ran a little bit extend, extended here and tried and gather, uh, you know, the energies and get this information out there for you. But again, just take what's necessary for you. It's just me interpreting the cards. I would appreciate a thumbs up for this video. You guys have a safe, great week ahead. All will work itself out, whatever the situation may be. And just remember to keep smiling for me. I'll talk to you soon.